Hello and welcome to my third tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how to make something similar to this. First of all, make sure you've got an appropriate render selected. I'm going to use this one. I think it's the uh, I think it's a Final Fantasy character or something. Now go to File, New, and create a suitable canvas for signatures. I'm going to use my width 500 pixels and height 150 pixels. Like that. Now go to your bucket tool and fill it black. I like that. Now switch your colours round so your foreground's white and your background's black. And select your brush tool. I'm going to use a grunge brush for this. And I'm just going to make it something like this. But you can use any type of brush, any technique you want. Um, and it does not have to be anything like that. That's just how I like them. Now, uh, bring your render in. And hold control while you press T. And hold shift while you're resizing it to keep the image in proportion. Now hide your brush layer, so it's just your render layer on top of a blank canvas, and go to image, adjustments and desaturate, so it goes black and white. Now go onto your magic wand tool, and while you're using your magic wand tool, make sure you hold shift so you can select a number of areas, like this. Make sure you select all the layers, all the areas rather, that apart from the render, so all the transparent uh, areas. Now right click and go to feather, feather radius of 5 pixels and press delete. I'm going to press delete once so it doesn't blur it too much but you can blur it as much as you like, maybe press it twice, three times. It's really up to you. Now press, um, go down here next to your bin, press this button and it will make a new layer for you. Now this layer we're going to use to actually make all the background colours with, so it's quite important you pick nice colours. I'm going to use red and green, like that, and if you can't see your gradient tool then right click your bucket and click gradient tool like this, and mode normal opacity 100%. Um, That's fine. Now I'm going to start my gradient from the top left hand corner and finish at the bottom right hand corner of my render like that. And you'll notice your image will disappear, that's fine. Over here, select, instead of normal, go into overlay. It should look like that. Now we're going to create a new layer. Layer 4 it should be. Press select, select all, edit, stroke and of my three pixels with a white and this will create a, uh, a border around your image looks nice select, deselect that looks quite nice again instead of normal set it to overlay and you can mess around with the opacity like that looks good now um, what we're going to do is we're going to make some suitable text you can either put the character's name or whatever you want. I've already selected this font, I think it looks nice. It's called Morpheus. I'm not sure where I got it from, but it was free. And that looks alright. Go to this little icon at the bottom, bottom left hand side, and go to Blending Options. I'm going to tick Drop Shadow and like that. Bevel and emboss and contour. You shouldn't have to mess around with much of the settings. When you click stroke, highlight it like that. Put it down to about one pixels and set it to black. And you notice your text stands out a lot more. I'm going to set the opacity to around 70%, nothing more. 
when you've got this, make your brush layer visible again, like that, and set the opacity. I'm going to say on mine no more than 35, depending on what you want. And maybe set mine down to about 20. That will give it a nice like textured background. And that's it, basically. It's quite a nice signature. And uh, thanks very much for watching. And please comment if you've got any questions or send me a personal message. Um, or if you want to comment about me maybe doing something wrong. Uh, well, anyway, thanks very much for watching. And uh, please rate it. Okay, thanks very much. See you later. Bye.